all right guys welcome back to rc voodoo and it is build time so we are going to get this thing knocked out this probably won't be a screw by screw full build i will um you know show the part what i'm doing but i'm not going to sit here and record every single screw turn but i will stop if there's spots that you know maybe a little unclear in the book or gave me uh some some issues stuff like that i'm uh, you know point out but um we're just going to start first thing we have here is the front upper arms make sure you have you a um, set of calipers and the, even if they're the manual kind it's not digital because a lot of things they'll want you to have exact link and it's impossible to do without so to get a proper setup or at least close you need a set of calipers five thousand Let that work its way down in. Okay, that is the the diff done. Okay, we're gonna need this piece, this piece, and a couple M3 by sixes. Okay, here's what that looks like. Do the uh, rear arms the same way as the front, except this time there's a 3.1 spacing instead of a 4.2 whatever it was 4.1 last time on the front I'm just running default on all these um, you can um, mount them upside like upside down like that for the uh, yeah the high center of gravity here's the steering knuckle assembly make sure you get the countersunk washer countersunk washer or you'll be uh you'll be wondering why your screw's not long enough screw on the ball ends screw on the steering limiter this is all alloy every bit of it so if you was wondering like actually how much of this kit was alloy compared to you know other other kits in this price range not a single piece is plastic besides the rod ends you see here adjustable universal joints here or universal shaft so you can see the uh if it would freaking focus the hex screws there at the end of the hex and grub screws Okay, we have aluminum hexes with the locking hex pin. Okay, next up we have the uh, transmission shaft assembly. So we've got the parts laid out here, and we're going to put it together. Okay, and there is that put together. The front and down stops are mounted. Again, all alloy. Okay, so basically here's where you got to make your first decision. If you want to mount this flat, or if you want to flip it over, like uh, mount it like that. Of course, that will raise your center of gravity if you mount it that way instead of this way. So other than the inserts you choose, you have the option to flip the um the bracket there for the rear i will have to take this back loose because you can see the tray here that is for your esc wire to go to the receiver so that will go under there and you know help route your wires and keep things clean so i'll have to eventually take this back off when my esc gets here rear down stops are mounted Okay, here is the top deck. Here is the top deck partially mounted. 
And these are the chassis plates. And we got the rear bulkhead. And put on the rear arms. Here's the rear arms mounted. Transmission plates. Okay, here is the uh, transmission mount, and this here is the battery retainer, so you can actually run a slim line or the regular shorty. So that's nice that your battery retainer is adjustable there. Center pulley shaft, transmission shaft. Both the transmission shafts on there. Rear upper bulkhead and camber plate. Don't forget to put your belt on first. Okay, we got our belt on, got the bottom diff in. So now time for the top um, top of the bulkhead to hold it all down. Here it is assembled. Here's the front battery stoppers. Okay, here they are. We got the motor mount, motor mount mounted, spur gear and spur gear adapter, spur gear on. All right, putting on the front uh, top deck brace and also uh, chassis mount or uh, servo mount. So it's like a dual purpose piece. It's part of the servo mount and it's also the top deck brace in the front okay you do get two uh servo horns here a 22 or a 23 tooth and uh 25 so and both of them's etched with the same and you got the lower front arms on and the uh, front hinge pin uh, these are adjustable and there's preset to when well not preset i set them to uh, default what it calls for and we'll go from there and these are flippable if you want a higher center of gravity here's the parts to the front slide rack and here is the slide rack assembled here is the front steering slide assembly completed Here's more of the front steering components. And here it is completely assembled, ready to bolt onto the chassis. And here it is bolted on, nice and smooth. Here are the front steering knuckles. And here they are attached. Here is all the parts for the shocks. Here is the aluminum bodies. And here they are completed. Super smooth. Big bore. Here is the front shock mount. The upper mount. And here it is attached with the ball ends. Ready for the shocks. And here it is with the shocks mounted. Super nice setup on this one. Here is the rear upper shock mount. Here it is attached with the ball ends on it. 
and here it is with the shocks attached so really starting to come together now we have the chassis stiffener components and here they are attached and now we're at the front bumper and body mount post and here they are attached so of course these body posts will be trimmed or eliminated completely and we have our ESC mount and here it is attached of course this is optional you can obviously put your electronics wherever so this is a look at the front end with the top arms now attached now we've got our front assembly supports one of the last things to put on here and here they are you see right here really helps stiffen up the front end here all right guys that is the build complete i hope you um enjoyed it i hope maybe that uh someone was stuck on a part maybe just by seeing it assembled uh can help you but i don't know what what to say this was an amazing kit went together beautiful uh the parts are quality from start to finish absolutely one of the smoothest best kits i've ever i cannot wait to get this thing out on the track but that's the video guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it until next time take care